Hey there all on Facebook, this is Stephen Byram uh, with Fearless Productions. Today I have with me Mr. Jim Muskrat. Uh, he was played the pastor in our movie, The Victor. Um, he looks a bit different now. He grew a little bit of a beard, which makes him look a lot wiser. I was, you know, maybe more wisdom in there, huh? Oh, uh, uh, yes, definitely a little uh, older. <laughs> I don't know about um, the wisdom, but the older, yes. Yeah, since, since two months ago or yes. whatever it was, yeah. I've aged with this with this white uh, thing. Uh, it saves me terribly. <laughs> well, it makes it look more sophisticated and cool, if you ask me. Right? Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, we we really appreciate really appreciated your acting and that you did an extremely good job. I mean, like your method acting is just incredible. It blew me away when you get up there on the screen and you're just totally like, you just get into your character. You're just totally like. Oh, you had to find out what he was supposed to be doing in that scene. I couldn't just tell you, this is what I want you to do. You had to say, so what is going on uh, at this certain part in the story? You had to know everything so that you could be that person. Exactly, yeah. And I want you to share a little bit of your experience about method acting. I mean, or, or getting into your character. What did you do? I mean, what was it that totally got you into that? Well, I would like to just say I'm just good, but I, <laughs> I, I can't say that. I, I Really... I tried to put myself back in in a place where when I actually was doing uh, evangelistic work on the streets, and so it came kind of really easy with uh, Luke, because the whole uh, story, you know, is about a a, a person uh, looking for answers, and and with my uh, part in the movie, I was able to uh, look at Luke as a person who had a need, and that need was going to be fulfilled, and though he didn't know it quite yet, I knew it as a pastor. So it was very easy to work with them and play this part because I have in the past been over in the streets of Seattle, Portland, wherever. And when you're when you're reaching out and you're doing something similar that was uh, shown in the film, well, then this was kind of I just said to myself, this is going to be just act like you be like you'd be doing it if you were doing the real thing. And it, yeah. so it kind of made it pretty easy. Wow. Cool, that's incredible! Wow, yeah. and you did an amazing job. I, I'm still blown away. I mean, we just we thought we thought well, well, the faces will be good, you know. When we brought you in, we're like the face matches. And since you have a son that looks just like you, by the way, right. his son plays the uh, the the man in the first picture, and they look a lot alike. And we saw that, so we said, "Carbon well, copy, yeah." Yeah, we could we could we could make them look a lot alike. But it turns out this guy's an amazing actor, and he's mm -hmm. a, and he can really do his part very very well. Mm -hmm. So um, I was wondering, do you can you recall one or two of the scenes? I mean, just some some things that happened or something like that. I mean, be yourself. So, for me, in the in in the the movie, the Victor, I was uh, really uh, anticipating playing that part where Luke gets submerged and and, we, and he's being baptized, and uh, that for me was a very touching moment. It was a very realistic moment because. Uh, at that point in the movie, he has already made a commitment, and and I was able to be that person that was able to uh, tell him, you know, this is what you're doing today, and acknowledging that uh, he went through it, uh, and it was so just natural just to be submerged and come out that new creature, you know, that new that new person in in Christ. Wow. That's what that was all about for me, and it was so. Uh, it was just a, a happy moment, and uh, I, it, I found it really easy. Uh, I would say probably with uh, shooting that, that movie and doing the retakes and all, I liked the part where I was in the office, and I'm in heavy thought, flashing back mm -hmm. to these moments that the movie displays, where uh, this, in fact, is my son. And I and I like that part where I'm I'm looking in there, and I and I'm going. This is such a a a, a big part of of the movie as it as it looks back. And I open the book, and it's it's my son, and so yeah. it was a real touching moment. And I yeah. I liked the the depth, the thought that I was thinking at that point in, in the office there. So that was yeah. I I got into that. I, yeah. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, well, yeah, we noticed that for sure. Yeah. And you're totally into it. And even uh, even after we asked you to do it again, take after take after take, if I recall, that scene was probably one of the most takes we'd ever done. We probably did right. about a hundred of them, and we filmed it twice. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, it was like I want to get this right, so because you start losing a little bit of your confidence in what you're supposed to put, be portraying, and yeah, and that was a little hard. 
but we, we pulled it off. 